Okay, what is Airing 615A? I'll start out by saying what it's not, because I think there's some confusion sometimes. Airing 615A is not Airing 615. Uh, 615A specifies uh, data loads, specifically a high speed data loader that uses Ethernet for the interconnection between the data loader unit and the, the loadable targets on the avionics network. Uh, by contrast, Airing 615, which is a little bit older of a specification, uh, specifies data loads uh, to be executed over Airing 429 links between the data loader and the, the loadable targets. They're very different protocols. Um, so there's, you know, from an implementation standpoint, there's very little, um, really, if any, uh, availability to reuse protocols or software that, that's used between the two different types of data loaders. So the Airing 615A spec defines the protocol to be used for both airborne data loaders. So these are data loaders that are actually aircraft equipment, so that they're part of the, the actual airplane. And it also specifies the same protocol uh, to be used for portable data loaders. So these are data loaders that would be uh, some kind of a maintenance unit or maybe um, a, a, a piece of equipment in a production lab or an engineering lab that you would use for, say, point-to-point -point connections with an individual LRU for, like, benchtop loading. The uh, 615A also defines the protocol operations for both the data loader side and the loadable target side. So um, it, it's not just a specification for the data loader or the unit that's doing the loading of the aircraft equipment. Uh, it specifies both that and the actual aircraft, the, the protocol handling on the aircraft side, on the, the loadable target side. So an Airing 615A data loader, uh, specifically a portable data loader, can essentially be any kind of a portable computer. Uh, that has an, a network, a standard LAN or Ethernet interface connection that can be used to connect that, um, that PC to an avionics Ethernet network. Uh, so the data loader communicates with the, the loadable target devices in the avionics network using standard LAN technologies like Ethernet, uh, Internet protocol on top of that, um, on top of the Internet protocol, the UDP, uh, and standard uh, trivial file transfer protocol, which is a very simple uh, much simpler than FTP, uh, a very simple file transfer protocol. So the Airing 615A protocol uses standard uh, internet and LAN um, services to do the, d the data load operations. And as a result, it, it, it could be implemented in just a standard, say, laptop or desktop PC uh, when, when interfacing an avionics network via standard ethernet. It's also possible to have the data loader just do a point-to-point -point Ethernet connection with an individual target, again, for like production or benchtop loading type of, of situations. Because Airing 615A uses standard you know, Ethernet, LAN, and, and Internet protocols, it's also possible to use you know, some of the common um, wireless network uh, services that are available today. So it, it's possible to have a data loader uh, communicate you know, via wireless link with an avionics network or, or an LRU also if, if those services are provided by the network. Airing 615A also specifies um, that the data load operations can optionally be done over an Airing 664 or AFDX network. So Airing 664 AFDX is avionics, uh, the avionics version of, of an Ethernet network. Um, so in an Airing 615, or I'm sorry, in an Airing 664 network, uh, a key concept that's used that's, that's kind of a layer of protocol uh, that adds determinism over a standard LAN technology is the concept of a virtual link. So virtual links are essentially virtual unidirectional channels uh, through an Ethernet network that are statically configured and defined in the switches of an Airing 664 network and also in the configuration of the end nodes. Uh, so a virtual link uh, essentially provides a logical path from a single uh, source of data to one or more destinations of a data. So you can have these virtual channels can either be uh, basically a unicast channel, so one, one transmitter, one receiver, or a multicast uh, data channel, one transmitter, multiple receivers. The other key concept of a virtual link in an Airing 664 network is that it provides some bandwidth uh, regulating uh, mechanisms. So um, yeah, the idea of this presentation today isn't to go too much into Airing 664. If you have questions about that or want more information about the specifics of Airing 664 or AFDX, please feel free to contact us after the webinar, and I think we have some materials and presentations that go into depth with that. Uh, but
but the key concept here is 664 um, utilizes a much more statically configured network and it uses these virtual links or virtual data paths through the network and and the, the relation to airing 615A is that 615A defines a way to do 615A operations also over airing 664 in addition to Ethernet and so for instance airing 615A is used on programs like the Boeing 787 uh, the Airbus uh, A380 and others uh, to use to do data load operations specifically over 664 and AFDX uh, networks. Uh, another key thing is that if Airing 664 um, is being used in, in the, um, instead of standard Ethernet, the data loader device actually has to have in it um, an Airing 664 specific end system to do uh, all the management of the Airing 664 specific protocol. So in that case, well, with with Airing 664, you couldn't use, say, just a, um, a standard laptop with a, a LAN interface. You would need a laptop or a desktop PC with some kind of an Airing 664 uh, interface included in it. The protocol stack. Uh, so I have on each side here what the protocol stack looks like on the data loader side as well as on the loadable target side. So basically the same from the file transfer protocol down. So at the bottom we have an Ethernet MAC type of interface or if it was 664 we would have an AFDX or Eric 664 uh, layer at layer 2 and layer 1. Then above that we have standard uh, internet protocol or IP. Above IP uh, the user uh, datagram protocol UDP services are used and above that for file transfers uh, trivial file transfer protocol is used. The 615A um, block on both on each side you can see is a different color and what that's meant to signal is that basically the, the handling uh, the protocol handling on the data loader side is different than what it is on the target side so by contrast if you have a UDP layer of say software implementing the UDP protocol you could essentially use that same software and that same protocol engine on both the target side and on the data loader side because the operations are the same on each side uh, at the data loader level they're not so you can't have um, a 615A protocol stack that you use on the data loader and then reuse that same stack, that same software on the target side because they basically have different mechanisms and uh, different flows of, of how the protocol is to be handled. And we'll see that in a few slides when we look at the specifics of some of the operations.